what is up youtube welcome back to another fallout 76 video today we're gonna be starting a little something different we're gonna start reviewing the new weapons as i unlock them so today we're gonna start with the gauss minigun i have four different variants i have a bloodied a junkies a two shot and an anti-armor so we're gonna check them out see how good they are if they're worth it we'll find out but if you guys like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and do all that other fun YouTube stuff, like leave comments and shit. So, before we start the video though, I do want to say, if you guys want to join a dope Fallout 76 group, check out Wasteland Misfits on Facebook. There's going to be a link in the description. Lots of cool ass players to uh, link up with and trade and just do missions and events and things like that also i do stream on facebook so make sure you uh come check me out stop in say what's up all right guys without further ado let's start this video all right guys so before we hop in and start killing stuff and see what this gun's really all about i want to go through some of the mods that you can put on it these are the ones I personally recommend. I go with the tri-barrel. It doesn't lower your damage and it gives you a faster fire rate. So you're doing more damage per second. The pentabarrel, it lowers your damage rate. It increases the fire rate a little more, but eh, it's not really, not really worth it. And also the Tesla coil capacitor is probably the best one. It gives you the most energy damage on top of your regular damage. So those are the mods. So the first Gauss minigun we're going to be looking at is the anti-armor faster fire rate. It kills ghouls pretty fast. About five to six rounds. As you can see here, we're kind of going through this, really slaying it up. I was pretty impressed with the uh, with the damage output of this. As you can see here, it took down a behemoth super fast. It's pretty pretty impressive, and it's just an anti-armor faster fire rate. Now let's see how it does on the queen. Now this is a legendary queen, so the damage uh, resistance is a little higher, but but it does a fair job. It's not the fastest, but it does a pretty fair job. Now be careful, because all Gauss weapons now have explosive damage. So if you start shooting and things are too close to you, you will kill yourself. Trust me, I've done it. Now let's hop in here to some Scorch Beast. Does a pretty good job. Struggles a little bit on the legendaries. Whenever the legendary mutates, it uh it'll fly away normally. So sometimes you gotta wait for it to land again. Or you can fight it in the air. I personally just wait for him to land again most of the time. But it does a fairly a fairly good job on non-legendary. It tears them up in about a hundred rounds. So that's it for the anti-armor faster fire rate. Next, we're going to be going over the two-shot Goss minigun. As you can see here, it's tearing into the ghouls pretty good. Pretty comparable to the anti-armor. I wouldn't say it's uh, better. I wouldn't say it's worse. They're pretty even for the most part. All right, let's check it out on the behemoth. Seems like it's taking the behemoth out a little bit faster but not by much now here's the queen pretty good now I, I do want to note that this is a non-legendary so it's hard to compare the two but it did a pretty good job at uh, tearing the queen up we made sure we hit the legs to do a little bit of that extra damage 
All right, now the Scorch Beast. Here's a non-legendary. Did a pretty good job, especially when you land those headshots. The gun is super accurate for a for a heavy gun. It's extremely accurate. I'm I'm honestly really pleased with uh with the range and the accuracy. There's not a lot of damage drop off, but all right. So here's a legendary Scorch Beast. Cracking into it a bit. Once again, it uh it took off because we didn't we didn't melt it right away. So it lands again. Crack into it. it. Does an okay job. It's not amazing, but it does a pretty good job. All right, now we're gonna hop in here to the the bloody faster fire rate Goss minigun. Now, I do want to note, guys, I am not a bloody build, um, so I don't have Nerve Rage on or anything like that. But this thing's fucking tearing into these enemies. The behemoth was afraid of it, didn't even want to wake up. Oh, Mel's the behemoth. Couldn't even, couldn't even wake up. Let's see the queen. Disappears. It does great, though, as you should expect any bloody weapon to do. Heating the Scorch Beast up, super fast. This one was flying, it didn't want to land, so I, I took a couple shots at it. Now, I didn't get a legendary on this uh, on this server, which kind of bummed me out, but I think we could tell that it would, it would tear into a legendary pretty well. And that's at range on that, those last shots, that's range. It still did a pretty good job at range. Let's see, a Yagwai. Nothing. Melted a Yagwai. All right, guys. And now my personal favorite is the Junkies Goss minigun. The Junkies faster fire rate is insane. I personally like it. Um, it says it does less damage, but I feel like it does just as much. Maybe because I'm not a bloody build. Maybe I could get more out of the bloody build. Um, I didn't take any chems when I did this Junkie character. Um, we weren't testing with chems. All I did was just have my five withdrawals. So this is this is the gun with just five withdrawals, no psycho tats or anything like that. It's doing a pretty damn good job on the ghouls. But ghouls are easy. That's light work. Like two or three shots. Let's see the behemoth. Wrecks it. Faster than the bloody, I think. All right, let's see the queen. Instantly melted it. Instant. That was way faster than the bloody. All right, let's see a legendary, legendary sports piece. Melted it. Super fast. All right, we got a Flatwoods monster. No chance, no chance. And a non-legendary. Oh, that is, a, I mean, a legendary uh, sports piece again. Melted it as well. So let's go over some pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. It has excellent accuracy at range. The ammo is pretty cheap to craft. It only requires steel and lead. Overall damage is amazing, even with the two shot or the anti armor. And also Gauss weapons now are considered explosive. So you can equip Demolition Expert to really increase your damage a little bit more. Now the cons is the weight of the ammo. It weighs 10 times more than Ultra Sight 308. And my biggest complaint with any minigun, that is, is the barrel spin. You have to kind of charge it up before you get those shots. So sometimes the enemies get a little close and you start to do damage on yourself because of that explosive splash damage that it does. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints. Now, would I recommend this weapon? 100%. I'm almost in love with it if it wasn't for the weight of the ammo 
and how fast it goes through it, I would carry this constantly. But I think for Scorch Beast Queens or any type of big events where you need a lot of firepower, this is the weapon to use. So yeah, guys, that's the video. I hope this was real informative for you. If you guys found it helpful, make sure you leave a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So it would be greatly appreciated if you could leave a like. And if you want to see more videos of me testing all the new uh, legendary type weapons that you can buy plans for, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out and stay safe out there in the wasteland. See ya.